right now it is time for us uh, to speak to the legend in the football game. He needs absolutely no introduction, but if you don't know him, let me just tell you, he's a Spanish international with 40 caps for his country under his belt. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please help me welcome Gaisco Mandieta! Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Hi. Awesome. So I hear that you you landed in South Africa and you've just been everywhere the whole day. Is it your first time in South Africa, specifically in Cape Town? No, it's my third time. Third time? Yeah. And what do you think of it? Do you, do you like us? Well, I love it. Are we nice people? Yeah, lovely. Okay, you spoke to Carl a little bit earlier and did he treat you nicely? He did. He treated you nicely. Okay, Carl, yeah, thank you. you know a lot more about football than I do. Uh, is this man, you know, worth... Where did you have this card? You know what? Like I'm feeling a bit like sort of fanboy at the moment <laughs> because can I tell you when when Real Madrid we're gonna play Valencia in mm. any game? If Mendieta's playing, then you worry. You, just, yes. you have to be like you, you're gonna worry about it. The man is. Um, I, I'm sorry to speak of you while you're in front right. of me right now. But in, <laughs> in terms of strategy and the way you know he yes. controlled the game, it was absolutely beautiful to watch. Now, Kaiske, you're considered by many to be actually a legend in the game. Uh, tell us about a bit about, you know, uh, what was it like playing for Valencia, and especially becoming, you know, a, 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 a footballer that everyone's come to love? Well, it was great because I got there when I was 18. Uh, mm -hmm. I wasn't the player that I became later on in my mm. career. So I grew up both as, as, a, as a human being and as a player. Ended up the, the captain, uh, lifting trophies, playing finals. So it was, you know, a dream come true. Mm, awesome. Now you and Patrick uh, Clivert are actually La Liga ambassadors and you're down here in Cape Town for a free fan day that is happening at the Seapoint Promenade. Tell us a bit about that. What is it and what is the point of it all? Well, we've heard there's so many La Liga fans here in yes. Cape Town. So we brought the biggest event ever in, in Africa, mm. La Liga, the first one ever. So the reason to come, to meet up not only me and Patrick, although also starting Frederick, a lot of Bafana, Bafana legends, yes. coaches. Such as Aaron McQuenna, you know, and Matthew Booth, they're also going to be there. Correct. So all the guys and people, kids, adults, parents, mothers, would have the chance to play with us, to, mm -hmm. to interact with all of us. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of activities, the chance to win a trip to Spain, to watch a La Liga game. Yes. Live in the stadium. And obviously tomorrow is a big game ah. in La Liga. So with the big, big screens, uh, for everyone to watch it with us mm. and you know join in the conversation with us and it's free it is free and i think that that is actually the the big draw card for this is that it is a free fan day so you your mama and your tribal grandmama went to church of the bible can go ahead <laughs> and spend the day with these guys now guys let's talk a little bit of soccer now carl uh, and and Gaiska, you know real madrid real madrid as well as barcelona is probably one of like those big games that everyone anticipates but uh real madrid and atletico actually have their own kind of vibe to them as well this game that is coming up who do you think is going to end up taking uh you know this one this time around well it always used to be real madrid on top of the on top of the yes. city now in the last eight years it's been atletico madrid taking over only madrid is won one game mm. out of the last 10 and ronaldo even ronaldo you know the mm. ronaldo scoring mm. goals has only scored one goal against atletico madrid wow so Atletico Madrid now has got the crown. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Real Madrid wants his back. Okay, Carl, what are you? It was difficult to hear, guys. <laughs> as, as, as a Real Madrid Somebody supporter, yes. uh, big time. But I, I can tell you, there's something special about tomorrow. I feel that, you know, sometimes injuries are a bit of a blessing in a team like Real Madrid. Mm. And I mean, there are a couple of injuries, but I think that it's going to be very exciting to see the likes of Benzema coming back into the squad and adding a bit more attacking prowess. But I do believe that Real Madrid are going to take it because that is the place where you don't win matches. Okay, it's the Santiago Bernabeu. Do not. Come and try there. That's a Madrid fan, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you know what? S uh, Spanish players are considered to be technically the, the most technically uh, gifted players in La Liga. Who do you see coming up through the ranks now? Maybe who do you think is going to be replacing guys come and yet in that in that uh, in that guys? Well, luckily we produce a lot of great players mm. uh, year on year on, and at the moment, uh, like the likes of uh, Denis Suarez, uh, Isco, which is already. A big name in the game, uh, Mata, De Gea, Sergi Roberto from Barca. There's, there's always producing, and they're always mm. coming. Uh, so the national team is not, is not in danger with a good hands. Awesome. So you are not only a soccer player. I heard this from Carl, who seems to be a very big fan. He's <laughs> giving me a little okay, bit of background information here. Apparently, you're also a DJ. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. How did you? How did you get? I don't understand. So you go from being a soccer player during the day, yeah. and then you go and play gigs at night. Well, no. Otherwise, I wouldn't play if I would the gigs at night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when only when I retire from playing 
uh, soccer. Okay. I, I start to take my my hobby a bit more seriously, mm. and mm. I start to DJ in festivals, clubs uh, in Spain, in, in England. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, it's like a hobby. I love right. it. Okay, so I want to learn a little bit of Spanish. So maybe you can teach me something, and then I'll teach you something okay. in closer. Okay. So maybe we can say something like, uh, "Come to the free fan day tomorrow, and you could win a trip to Spain." Okay. Let's say, "Ven mañana." Ven mañana. Al evento. Al evento. De la liga. De la liga. Cape Town. Cape Town. Para ganar. Para ganar. Un viaje a España. Un viaje a España. Wow. You've been practicing, yeah? No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, but the thing is, I wouldn't be able to put it together. I don't think <laughs> I can say it immediately after saying it. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to. Uh, can you say Sia Pambana? Sia Pambana? Uya. Uya. Onda. Onda. Mos. Mos. So that's Sia Pambana, Uya, Onda, Mos. Right. Okay, that means, <laughs> that means that we are crazy and you know it. And speaking about being crazy and you know it, I think it is time for us to go for a quick commercial break. Thank you very much, guys, for being I here. It's been absolutely amazing having you. And hopefully you guys are going yeah. to enjoy uh, tomorrow if you guys go down. If you do, let us know on social media, Facebook and Twitter. So, guys, in Spanish, in Spanish, I think that you should link us to an ad break. Can you tell everybody that we're going to a commercial break and that we'll see them after this? Vamos al anuncio. Os vemos en un momento. Ah! Wow. Nice.